John is in stores May 12th, and I honestly love you. So happy that you put that on this. Thank you. Yeah, I love that. Enjoy it so very much. much. Now, look in uh, all these magazines Ford Courage, the profile in Courage. There you are, Olivia Newton John. And uh, that is exactly what I think of when I think of you. You had uh, breast cancer, what, five years ago? Yeah, it was six, six in July. Six years ago. And you decided to talk about it and to try to demystify it for yeah. everyone. Well, they were going to print some horrible article in one of the rag trades, and I thought, well, rather than do that, I'm just going to come out and talk about it. It was very hard to talk about. It's such a personal thing and such a personal part of your body. Now it's like, well, hey, we all have them, and we're all going to have to deal with this problem. It's an ever-increasing problem, like one in nine women. I'm sure you know all about it. Right. And um, I'm really not that special. There are millions of women dealing with this problem. I'm just able to be vocal about it and draw attention to the problem and for the sponsor in all the Condé Nast publications to really educate women to health self-examination and being aware of what you can do. Yeah, and you were involved with uh, health issues for, for children before yes. you were diagnosed with breast cancer through your daughter's friend? Yes, my, my best friend lost her daughter to cancer and she was five. And through that, we founded the Children's Health and Environmental Coalition, which is a wonderful organization. We're trying to improve the standards for children, basically, in the environment, the, level, the levels of toxicity that are considered safe are now measured by a fully grown male, 180 pounds. And kids are like, you know, taking, drinking eight times the amount of juice and eating eight times the amount of fruit and vegetables. And the levels that are considered safe, we need to adjust them for children. If, if it's adjusted for children, we'll all be safe. Right. So we have this organization. We have a wonderful um, bo little booklet called the House Detective where we've put little ideas that you can use in your house to make it safe. And we have a website in my life. Yes, say you that. are. It's a World Wide Web. And the address is right up here. And we're going to uh, put that on again at the end of the program. So grab a pen. Uh, and at the end, you'll be able to find out. And if you go on the web, you'll find information uh, that you can get the booklet and everything, which yeah, is such a, a great thing. Yeah, did you wonderful. did you feel you had um, a choice? You wanted to talk about this, and you did you feel like you had an obligation, sort of, to inspire? I did. Women? You know, when I initially it was kind of a very strange feeling. I remember the first time I had to to fill in the blank. You know, if you had illnesses, you know, you go to a doctor's office and they, you know, have you had jaundice? Have you had nah, hepatitis? Now nah, right. cancer. Oh, I got to tick that thing, and then I realized this is like now I really need to talk about it, and I need to. Be open about it because it's. I think holding these things in is, is causes illness. I think that you know when you hold emotions in and don't talk about them, that's not healthy. So and that did, was all part of my my growth. Did you find this through a self exam or through a doctor's visit? Both. Both. Um, I had a lump. I, I I was tended to be lumpy and I was always I was always having checkups anyway. And this one felt a little strange and I didn't feel well. I kind of had a feeling something wasn't quite right. And um, I was supposed to go on the road and I, and I had this innate feeling I, I wasn't going to go. I'll do anything to get out of work. Huh? <laughs> so I, um, I went and had this checkup and actually didn't show up in a mammogram and it didn't show up in a biopsy. And I don't say that to scare anybody, but you just have to really be in tune with your body. And if you don't feel something is right, even if they're saying you're fine, follow up on it. Right. Which is, thank goodness, my surgeon did and it was tucked away there. So. Well, I'm glad, so glad that you're healthy and I'm so Me glad too. that you're speaking out about it. And what women should know is that early detection is the biggest thing that they can uh, do to help themselves. Exactly. Now, to do a little song that we uh, adapted in order yeah. to get women to uh, check themselves out. Okay. All right, let's try this. You ready? Yeah, Here I'm we ready. Go. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. We're talking to women over 35. You're doing self-examination. We got another thing to keep you alive. Give your boobs a squeeze. A man sure that you have healthy breasts. No different than a cold waffle iron. Rise me up, having my blue jeans pressed. So make your move and please get a physical, physical. Call and get a physical. Get you a physical. Get yourself a mammogram. Your fingers, ma'am. Get yourself a mammogram. Take it, Olivia. You can do it. Cause you're strong. It only hurts for five seconds. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Whether they're tiny, big, or long, <laughs> you know what they mean. If you feel a marble, a pea, or a flaw, don't be shy, just get a check. Yeah, be a trendsetter, just whip off your bra. Start 